Well, Mum Suzanne is watching on for Millie. So Millie Knight of Great Britain alongside guide Brett Wild, the guide in bright orange. They communicate via microphones and headsets within the helmets and protective helmets. And you'll notice on the bottom right of your screens the factor time. That's because all of our athletes are classified and their impairments are then measured in a stringent regime. And the clock is manipulated to suit that impairment and any limitations that the athlete may have here in the VI event it's around how much you can or can't see the lowest classification being a B1 athlete Millie is a B2 classified athlete so has a slightly higher visual acuity than a B1 but less than a B3 hopefully that just about sums it up for you Knight gets the distinction of setting the first time. Didn't go well for her partner in crime yesterday, Mena Fitzpatrick, who went first for Great Britain in the downhill and tumbled very early. Fitzpatrick will be next on the course, but you can hear those instructions. Brett shouting, tell me, tell me. And it's not just a one-way communication. Come into view of the spectators now into this sharp left hander before they drop down and it's all about the speed Brett's job here is to get Millie in line so she can just tuck in and come through these final two gates last red last blue over the line 133 76 for Millie Knight Well, it's a dancing yeah, Millie Knight. Certainly happy with that one. A high five from Brett. And we're getting the smile that we haven't seen from Millie in the World Cup Series. Brilliant World Championships.